coming to the final flight. It's Ideal Pal about to be pressed by Marvel fans. Celestial arrives. And Marvel fans are falling and leaves Ideal Pal with a cushion of four legs from Celestial Horizon as Ideal Pal and Jordan Gainford win the opener on National Day. Coming to the final flight, it's Ideal Pal about to be pressed by Marvel fans. Celestial arrives and Marvel fans are falling and leaves Ideal Pal with a cushion of four legs from Celestial Horizon as Ideal Pal and Jordan Gainford win the opener on National Day. For Michael Mulvaney, Celestial Horizon second and Uncle Gerhard Golf Meadon and Rodney Bay. But on the outside, to worry them is Iberique de Soy as they come to the final flight. Iberique de Soy on the outside of Inontendo, well beaten in third is Icarra Lynn, and it's Iberique de Soy and Jack Kennedy drawing on from Inontendo. Iberique de Soy wins the Dunahoo Marquis Juvenile, second Inontendo, but on the outside. To worry them is Iberique de Soy as they come to the final flight. Iberique de Soy on the outside of Inontendo. Well beaten in third is Icarra Lynn. And it's Iberique de Soy and Jack Kennedy drawing on from Inontendo. Iberique de Soy wins the Dunahoo Marquis Juvenile. Second Inontendo, Icarra Lynn only managed third ahead of Lunar Park. It's Capilano Bridge and Charlie O'Dwyer eight in front of Silver Sheen and at the last Capilano Bridge battled it but gets away with it from Silver Sheen in third place is Lord Erskine. It's Capilano Bridge for the father and son combination of Charlie and Conor O'Dwyer on the big day. Wins the Fairy House Deal handicap. It's Capilano Bridge and Charlie O'Dwyer eight in front of Silver Sheen and at the last Capilano Bridge battled it but gets away with it from Silver Sheen in third place is Lord Erskine, it's Capilano Bridge for the father and son combination of Charlie and Conor O'Dwyer on the big day, wins the Fairy House Deal handicap, Capilano Bridge held it out from Silver Sheen, Lord Erskine, Grandero Bello and Festival Dex, Carrick Sam never near after them. On the run of the final flight, and Durasso has stolen a lead of three to four lengths over Santa Rosa. And it's Durasso at the final flight and jumped it well from Santa Rosa. In third is Grand One. It's Durasso proving an able substitute in the race for JP McManus. Such a reliable horse. Durasso wins the Red Batty in Glenview Studs. Hurdle on the run of the final flight and Durasso has stolen a lead of three to four lengths over Santa Rosa and it's Durasso at the final flight and jumped it well from Santa Rosa in third is Grand One. It's Durasso proving an able substitute in the race for JP McManus. Such a reliable horse. Durasso wins the Red Batty in Glenview Studs. Hurdle from Santa Rosa and Grand One. Racing to the final furlong from Silo, Semri, Castle Grace, Paddy and Hardline. It's Easy Game and Brian Hayes in the lead and are shifting away from Silo, Semri and Castle Grace, Paddy. Easy Game returns to repeat wins in the Devonish chase for Brian Hayes and Willie Mullins. Racing to the final furlong from Silo, Semri, Castle Grace, Paddy and Hardline. It's Easy Game and Brian Hayes in the lead and are shifting away from Silo, Semri and Castle Grace, Paddy. Easy Game returns to repeat wins in the Devonish chase for Brian Hayes and Willie Mullins. In second is Celo Semri, 1-2 for Willie. Castle Grace Paddy in third. Hardline last of four to finish. They're coming to the final fence in the 150th Irish Grand National. It's Lord Lally at the leader over the last from frontal assault. Almost lost screaming colours. It's Lord Lally and out in front from Paddy O'Hanlon. It's local trainer Dermot McLaughlin again in the Irish National. Lord Lally and wins it. They're coming to the final fence in the 150th Irish Grand National. It's Lord Lally at the leader over the last from frontal assault. Almost lost screaming colours. It's Lord Lally and out in front from Paddy O'Hanlon. It's local trainer Dermot McLaughlin again in the Irish National. Lord Lally and wins it from frontal assault. KRWD in screaming colours. Early doors and they're followed in by Velvet Elvis.
Acrobat and opposites attract as they head for the final fence. And it's Donkey Years on the near side getting to Deffy Blow. The final fence. Donkey Years lands with a fractional advantage from a rallying Deffy Blow. Back in third is Glenn Low. 100 yards to go. And it's Deffy Blow finding more on the far side from Donkey Years to win by three parts. Perbat and opposites attract as they head for the final fence. And it's Donkey Years on the near side getting to Deffy Blow. The final fence. Donkey Years lands with a fractional advantage from a rallying Deffy Blow. Back in third is Glenn Low. 100 yards to go. And it's Deffy Blow finding more on the far side from Donkey Years to win by three parts. Back in third place was Glenn Low and then opposite to Dread. Trying to challenge his hunters, John, with I am Fortunate on the outside of Maleficent, who stays on against the rail. It's the mediator and hunters, John. Patrick Mullins and Jamie Codd in a bumper battle once more. And it's hunters, John, racing on close to the line. Fast finishing Maleficent on the inside of the mediator. Trying to challenge his hunters, John, with I am Fortunate on the outside of Maleficent, who stays on against the rail. It's the mediator and hunters, John. Patrick Mullins and Jamie Codd in a bumper battle once score and it's Hunter's Yarn racing on close to the line fast finishing Maleficent on the inside of the mediator followed in by I'm Fortunata and the longtime leader Johnny Sagan.